allowing the mind to just dissolve down into body as if we're pouring salt into water, an image that is often helpful. An experience that allows us to open our senses. Also opening the sense of our own breathing. So sensing the body, center of the body is the breath. the center of the breath, just a sense of ease, of softening, of opening, and release on the exhale. So no matter where the mind is today, or where it was before we began, or where it is now, Just simply allow it to be. Know that you can simply and gently shift your awareness from all those thoughts to the sensation of your breathing, listening to the entire body, listening to the present within you and around you. So we establish ourselves in some degree of mindfulness to begin. And know that there is safety in your breathing, safety in your rootedness to the chair or the cushion beneath you, as well as the earth element below us and around us. Let this be a grounded stability in your practice you can always return to. Just feeling your body, experiencing your body as a manifestation of the earth element. And perhaps even abiding like a mountain fully present and unmoved and rooted. Your awareness mind, the lofty peak of the mountain. also encompassing your entire inner space, simply in mindful awareness. And whatever else arises, it also disperses, resting with this continuum of mindful presence as all the other things and distractions and sensations continue to simply arise and disperse on their own. Coming back to breathing. And you might begin now to simply notice any places in the body of discomfort or tension or pain. We can begin simply by experiencing that place of discomfort from the standpoint of the entire body all at once. So there can be a tendency to want to sort of 
go right to the pain or the discomfort, wherever it may be, and maybe it's all over. And before doing this, just be aware that you are in an entire body. Not all of you is feeling the discomfort or the pain. So first, just experiencing the entirety of the body as this mountain, as this stable, present posture of dignity. Feeling the breath softening the muscles. Feeling the out breath, just releasing tension or contracting, any contracting in your body. Simply let the discomfort just be there, wherever it is, while you experience the entirety of your body. If you find that this is distracting or that the discomfort or the pain is really seeking your attention and pulling you away, you can decidedly bring attention to another part of the body, perhaps the sit bones, where you can feel your weight. Maybe it's your feet on the floor if these are not in pain. You can just simply focus on a part of you that is not in pain, but that you can feel tangibly through your senses, such as the feet or the sit bones. Maybe it's the breath itself within the body. There may be a moment where you even forget. And it will soon remind you. And that's okay too, no judgment. In a way, discomfort in the body as well as pain, interestingly, puts us in touch with the earth element. Because we are located in the body in the presence of physical discomfort or pain. So you can remind yourself, ah, embodiment. You can also remind yourself of that rooted uh, groundedness, that manifestation of the earth element that is your body. Touching the earth. All the while the breath easing in, opening, easing out, releasing. See if you can simply let go of any narratives or stories around the discomfort or around the practice. 
experience you may be having right now. Just see all of these stories, narratives, commentaries as being mental energy. And bring yourself back gently, without judging the stories, just back into your own embodiment, your own breath. Touching the earth once again. And just know eventually the mind will settle on its own. When you feel ready, you can simply open to this mindful presence, what we can call open awareness. When the mind settles, this quality of open awareness arises. Sort of like the clear, bright, fresh morning sky, just at sunrise. The sky reveals itself in all of its spaciousness. And at your own pace, gently bringing this open, clear awareness to that place of discomfort. First, we're simply going to do what's called floating pain. Floating within this openness of your awareness. Floating it is largely simply surrounding that place with this awareness, with a sense of freedom and softness. and also a little bit of compassion. When we encounter the body's suffering, we can always bring it this sense of genuine loving intention to be free from that suffering. Not a grasping or an expectation, but a gentle wish. So softening the edges of that discomfort with this gentle awareness. Holding it lovingly in the embrace of your own presence. You might notice certain thoughts or feelings coming from this place. Maybe it's fear, dissatisfaction, whatever it is. Just for now, notice what arises and not clinging to it or contracting around them. In a moment, we're going to explore what else is there besides physical pain. But for now, we're simply going to float that thing. This awareness, after all, is so much more vast and spacious than the pain itself. Perhaps a little more subtle, but certainly more vast.
and continue to breathe in, breathe out through it all. And if you like, you can even visualize that area of discomfort. Or if it's all over the body, some people have arthritis that is through and through. You can imagine clear water gently flowing and imbuing the pain with that quality or surrounding it to further soften the edges. So this image you can adjust depending on what you're working with. If it's a painful place within the body that's isolated, you can just simply surround it, bathe it in this nourishing, softening water, almost like liquid light. So clear and the temperature is just right. If the place feels hot, let it cool with this water. If the place feels dark or cold, this water also warms this place. So in the midst of stillness, there can be this gentle movement of the water that helps the mind to follow the energy of, of your practice. And breathe, breathe in, opening, softening, breathing out, release. Being mindful of softening muscles in the body. Not just in the area of discomfort, but beginning with the feet and then just gradually moving up through the legs and the knees. All the way up. You can do this from the bottom of your feet to the crown of your head, if you like. Just bringing attention and awareness to softening any muscles you find that are tight. And when you come across that area of discomfort, you can simply do the same thing here. And perhaps the water image helps too, in these other aspects of water. And this includes relaxing the muscles under the ears of the jaw and the cheekbones and around the eyes. Pain often gives us a furrowed brow. So be aware of the forehead and the eyebrows. Just let them fall away from the center and feel the softening of the muscles here too all the way up to the crown. For some people, especially with headaches or migraines, which are particularly challenging, you can visualize the brain just being bathed in this clear water, gently flowing, softening, purifying, nourishing. cooling. Also the back of the head. And breathing.
This practice can also be great for stress. Maybe it's not pain or discomfort, but if you find that you've been under a lot of stress, this is so deeply relaxing and healing for the body and the nervous system. Letting go of the trying and the effort. And finally, the last practice that we'll do is what I like to call clearing pain. And I invite you to, you don't have to do this part if you'd rather not, that's fine. But if you'd like to work a bit more deeply with the pain itself, we're going to explore what's there besides just physical sensation and physical pain. Often there are feelings and emotions at the center of it. And so clearing the pain of these can also be enormously helpful. So if you like, breathe deeply down into that place where the discomfort is abiding or into the pain and just simply hold here for a moment. Notice what you feel, what feelings and emotions are here. Maybe it's just a general aversion or suffering. And then as you exhale, gently breathe that out of you in the form of smoke or dark cloud, breathe it off into the distance until it's just a small dot let go of it from your side, watch it disappear. And then breathe back into that same place of the discomfort. And what else do you find? Perhaps it's fear or anger. If you can label it with a word, this is nice. If not, you can just label it as suffering or aversion or unpleasantness. And on your out breath, breathing all the way out in the form of smoke or a dark cloud, whatever feeling you have found there until it's just a small dot on the horizon, losing connection with it, watch it disappear. Breathe back into that same place. And we can do this as often as we like. This is not a form of rejection, but it's a form of freeing, freeing up what's there, what's locked into the pain. So we're not expelling it with aversion. We're simply giving that quality permission to simply be free. So the spirit of it matters. and the hardiness to simply breathe into the pain, the discomfort and see what is there. For many people, it's punishment or grief, whatever it may be. Once more, breathing it out of you in the form of smoke or dark cloud, watch it disappear and breathe back in. You may find many different qualities or just working with one. Either way, you are bringing it love, not judgment. You're bringing yourself kindness. And you're bringing compassion to suffering and setting it free. So you can 
practice this or just simply abide embodying mindfulness for a few minutes until the bell brings us back out. So I'll stop talking now, but just explore this, any of these practices, whatever resonates with you the most works the best. abiding effortlessly now in the state of simplicity clarity and generosity of heart 